T-65 since the first liquid fuel rocket launched in 1957 which unlocks the doors to space age there onwards. But still the cost of rockets manufacturing had remained unchanged till now. Still we have to spend the huge chunk of money for sending a rocket to space. Now leading space agency like NASA struggled to maintain the cost of rocket manufacturing. But one underdog space agency from our country ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization launches rockets to the orbit at less expense with a huge success rate. ISRO is one of six government space agencies around the world, which is placed at sea headquarters. On an average, the cost of sending one rocket to orbit from ISRO is around $26 million. But NASA costs about five times more. On February 15, 2017, ISRO created a record by sending 104 satellites from the Sri Helicopter launch base. This record was beat by SpaceX by sending 143 satellites on Jan 24, 2021. All over the world, out of 51, only 21 Mars missions have been successful. India was the first country to achieve it in its very first attempt. MOMS, Mars Orbitary Mission, which is India's first interplanetary mission to the Mars. With the cost of $73 million, making it the least expensive Mars mission ever, ISRO made all these achievements with an annual budget of around $1.8 billion. How ISRO achieves missions with very cost efficient due compared to others is the way how it started from its roots. Vikram Sarabhai was an Indian physicist and astronomer who started space research and realized the need for satellite technology for educational and development of the country. In 1963, a group of scientists and engineers converted a Chechnya Tumba village into a space lab and thus began an Indian space saga. The first rocket launched was a sounding rocket named Nike Apache, which was carried in parts on a bicycle to the launch site and assembled in a church near Tumba village and launched it from the Tumba launch station. For starters, sounding rockets are solid propellant rockets which carries various scientific instruments into the space in a parabolic trajectory. Some important regions in the space that are too low for satellite to measure. Sounding rockets provide the only platform that can carry out measurements in those regions. Back then, we Indians depended most on agriculture. On the flip side, dominant countries are having an enormous boom in business and infrastructure. But in India, getting everyday meals is a daily challenge for the average people. In those days, poverty was a major challenge for us to overcome. This poverty didn't stop us from exploring space at that time. Vikram Sarabhai led to the foundation of ISRO in 1969. After Sarabhai's unexpected death, Satish Dhawan took charge of ISRO in 1972. He is the one who behind expanding the capabilities of ISRO to what it is today. Within six years of its formation, ISRO launched its first Indian satellite named Aribatta after the famous Indian astronomer, which is completely designed and fabricated in India and launched by Russia's Cosmos 3M rocket from Kapustin year on April 19, 1975. Apple was a communication satellite launched on June 19, 1981. Being transported on a bullock cart has become a symbol of our innovative approach to problem solving. Aryan passenger payload experiment When Indian space scientists were gearing up for the launch of its first communication satellite, Apple from the Niano Space Center in France, they had loaded the satellite onto a bullock cart because the satellite's antenna had to be tested as there were some problems detected in the telemetry tracking and control links, which are crucial for maintaining communication with satellite in space. And it was important to ensure they were functional before launch, but it could only have done in a proper antenna range with the satellite placed under a thermal blanket, a kind of facility that the India did not have for decades ago. We did not even have enough mainframe computers and the computing time needed for the thermal and mission analysis. Vasugam was the pro project director for Apple, who came up with an idea of keeping the Apple satellite on a bullock cart to provide a non-magnetic environment and to conduct the antenna test in an open field to remedy the TD and C link problem caused by the impedance matching problem. They found the solution in about 5 hours at a cost of 150 rupees for hiring the car. It could have resulted in considerable expenditure and time delay to conduct this test in a facility outside India. We were close to the point of transporting the satellite to Tulsa for final test to be followed by a launch from Kuru. This is the rocket science behind the bullock cart in Indian space story. However, from there, ISRO has to come a long way. But just one incident that throws back our ISRO to 15 years back, that is ISRO's spy candle issue. In 1991, ISRO signed a $120 million contract with Black Cosmos of Russia's space agency for seven cryogenic rocket engines and also a complete transfer of tech. 
technology isro says russia is the only hope because no other country was willing to share this technology fearing it would be used for military purposes as indian russia agreement been put in place in july 1993 the us administration armed to state russia to cancel the agreement to transfer cryogenic technology to isro the us administration feared it would be capacitate isro to launch satellites into the geostationary orbit and seize a sizable portion of global space market at the time nambi narayan is an indian aerospace engineer who is the in charge of cryogenic division in isro he is the one who developed vikas engine which we used in pslv rockets narayan believe that if the indian space sector has to develop we should have our own cryogenic technology he set for himself a target to develop the cryogenic technology by 2000 but that never happened the story begins with the arrest of a maldivian mariam rashida in october 1994 who stays in india after the visa expire in her room kerala police officers discovered the secret drawings of isro rocket and a diary in her diary they found the names of nambi narayan and daughter sheshkuma she was allegedly obtaining secret drawings of isro rocket engine sale to pakistan this led to the arrest of narayan the director of cryogenic project at isro along with his deputy daughter Sesh Kumar an Indian representative of a Russian space agency K Chandrasekhar Sheikh Sharma a labor contractor and Fawzia Asin a Maldivian friend of Rashida arrested by Kerala police officers Kerala police framed the two Maldivians as the Pakistan spy who gathered the data of India's cryogenic missile technology they charged Narayan with the leaking vital defense secrets to two Maldivian Mariam Rashida and Fawzia Asin defense officials said the secrets pertain to highly confidential flight test data from experiments with rockets and satellite launches narayanan and dr sheshkumar were accused of selling the secrets for millions the ib intelligence bureau and kerala police had represented the isro as a defense organization and The spy case was about selling India's cryogenic missile technology to Pakistan but ISRO is not a defense organization and there is no cryogenic missile technology anywhere in the US in the world and ISRO didn't have such technology in 1994 after spending 50 days in jail they released Nambi Narayanan and Sesh Kumar on bail later this case was taken by CBI in their investigation they found all those were fake allegations but the damage was already done as a result of this spy scandal issue cryogenic technology which has to arrive in 2000 had delayed it to 2040 but whatever ups and downs we faced in the journey we just overcome them thus isro is now has the world's largest constellation of various remote sensing satellites now isro has the same amount of workers as nasa nearly 17000 employees but the average salary for employee is $10000 which is the average salary for nasa employee is about $50000 this room makes the mission for for a short duration of time with less operational days instead of nasa runs missions for years and years which increase operational costs year by year this room is solving the problem with engineering solutions rather than pouring money into getting an alternative solution to overcome the problem from our humble big to problem solving nature he makes things possible with more time and less money jai hind